Hello everybody, it's me, Betts Gold, and thank you so much for joining me. Today I am with the Hedgehog Hollows February 2019 kit, and the whole theme of it is bees. And as I have previously stated in my other um, tutorials and projects related around this month's kit, is I used to be a grade school teacher and preschool teacher. So when I first saw this, these sweet little bees in this kit, to me it just really reminded me of my time with those children and as a mom um, I know that my daughter at the age of three four five six would have loved a bee themed birthday party so that's what I'm doing I'm going through and I'm putting together a little birthday party for a three four five or six year old We've already made the party hat, we have our invites done, so now we're gonna make some cupcake toppers. And I'm going to be using from the kit, the Silk Microfine Glitter in Black, this sweet little die cut, and also the adhesive sheets. All of this is by Elizabeth Craft Designs. I did pull in from my stash uh, yellow cardstock and some black cardstock. So why don't we go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to white, want to um, die cut out your bees on several different substrates. The first substrate you're going to use is you're going to take uh, what, some white cardstock, and actually I use the white cardstock from the kit, and you are going to um, just die cut out your, your um, little sweet wings for your bee. Now, the reason why I did this, what I did was I laid down the adhesive sheet, a four by three adhesive sheet over a piece of white cardstock because I need there to be some stability on my cupcake um, little stick that I'm going to use. And then from there, you are going to want to um, die cut out of just the adhesive sheet the sweet little body and we're going to cover that in glitter and then you are going to want to die cut out the little stripes and the little head out of some yellow cardstock and then finally you're going to want to die cut out these sweet little um, I don't know what they're called I still haven't learned I'm sorry the little, I call them antlers. I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's technical. I mean, I think of an antler and I think of like a bull or something. So I don't know what they're called. Um, and then from here, we're going to start to assemble and glitter our little pieces. Now, if you have, let's say that you die cut something out of just the adhesive sheet and you have this excess, don't throw it away. What I do is I actually take my scissors and I cut off the pieces even this little piece right here, and I save it. I can use it to adhere things to cards. So don't like use your trash, because use your scraps, I should say, because this stuff is amazing. Just wanted to share that with you before you tossed it all. So I have pulled in a little poker skewer that I'm going to use for my um, cupcake toppers. I also am going to be using some um, pop dots and um, some white glitter I have from my stash and then of course my tidy tray and my dry paint brush to help me. So the first thing I need to do is I need to glitter my um, wings. So I'm going to take off the adhesive and I'm going to be left with a sticky wing and this one as well. And as you guys know, I always struggle getting the adhesive off. <laughs> okay. Now, if you're going to be using your topper that's going to be viewed from two different sides, I would encourage you to do this and create two bees for one topper and just back them. Now, before I glitter this, I actually am going to take one side and line it up and just adhere it to the other side like so to create 
one piece. I'm going to take my white glitter from my stash that I have. This is also a micro glitter. When I'm using this adhesive sheet, I really do like to use a micro fine glitter. It makes a nice coverage and you don't have the little stickies left over. Then from here, I'm just going to kind of um, tap that glitter on, making sure that I have very nice coverage. I'm going to flip it over and uh, kind of run it through um, the glitter as well, tapping. No sticky spots allowed. And then from here, I'm just going to take my brush and just get off the excess. And there we go. So now our little wings are ready and they are one piece and they're nice and sparkly and pretty. You could go ahead and actually emboss if you wanted to, um, or you could just skip glittering the wings and just die cut it with some white cardstock would be really cute too. Also, if you have transparency, that would be really cute. Like clear wings, oh, how fun would that be? So the next step is our body. And for our body, we are going to adhere it to the wings, like so, and then we're gonna glitter it with black. And the reason why I did not choose to glitter the um, yellow is because I wanna put a little face on the bumblebee, and this piece right here, um, if I'm just using it on an adhesive sheet, it kind of gets crumpled up because there's some really small spaces. So this is a good technique for images that are pretty solid. Okay, so I can just go ahead and put this directly on my bee's wings. That'll be totally fine and just rub that in there really nice. So we have a nice firm um, connection and it's all good. We're gonna pull that up and now from here, whoopsie, I'm going to take my black and cover it. And then again, I'm just gonna make sure that it's all in there and I'm going to Flip it over, push it in so we get a nice good coverage. Take my handy dandy brush, brush it off. Oh my goodness, so cute. All right, so we are done with glittering for this project. I really love this glitter. I don't know how to describe it, but it is very sparkly and extremely fine. So it adheres beautifully. Okay. So I'll set this aside. And let me wipe this off a little bit. We still need to put our body on and our face on. So for this one, um, I'm gonna just put the body right, line it up like so. I'm going to use my multi-grip um, glue on this just because it is glitter and I know that this will hold it. Ooh, I got a, an adhesive right there. And my son is at home with his little bird, so if you hear whistling, it's because he's up there with his bird. We are an animal family. We have a fresh water tank full of, I mean a salt water tank, two of them with um, salt water fish. And then we have a cockatiel and we have three golden retrievers. So we are all about the animals. All right. Now from here, I want to 
take and put the little face on. And how I'm going to do this is I want to draw um, just a little, a little smiley face on them. So I'm going to take just my little marker and um, I'm no artist. I'm just going to do some little eyes. And then just a little smiley face, like so. All right. And then from here, I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the underside, right, like so. And I'm going to slip my head right about there. All right, it's getting close. Now, um, you may want to seal this with a sealant if you're having little ones um, in the glitter. And then I'm gonna put on my cute little antennas. Is that what they were using, the antenna? You guys, I'm so bad. I used to teach and I don't even know what these are called. What is wrong with me? And that actually goes over on that side. And then this one is gonna go on the other side. All right. And our little bee is looking pretty stinking cute. Okay, and then from here, we want to put our stick on so that we can stick our little bee into a um, cupcake. So what I recommend doing is I recommend that you put the stick on first, make your cupcakes, and depending on how high your frosting is, that'll determine the length of your stick. And you can always shorten a wooden skewer, so don't even worry about that. Make them all the same size now, and you can get them shorter later. So for this, I'm just going to run it along the back. And hold it for a minute. This glue, I swear, it sets up so fabulous and oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Now, if you were going to have um, these cupcakes displayed in the middle of the room where you can see it by all sides, this is when I would pull in my foam dots. I'd put five foam dots, one up here, boom, 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 boom. And then I would make the same bumblebee and adhere it to the other side so that um, you couldn't see the stick and it would look really cute all around. All right, so we have our party hats, we have our invitations, and now we have our cute little cupcake, um, our, cup, our cupcake little poker things. I have the name, toppers, oh, I'm so out of it. Um, and this would also be super cute as centerpieces and like some flowers. That would be really cute. Um, and then from here, look how cute, look how cute. From here, we are going to say that this is good. And I'm going to sign off. If you have not checked out the Hedgehog Hollow subscription box, please head over to her website and do so. She also has a fabulous YouTube channel that gives wonderful tips that is just awesome for all paper crafters in general. And I believe she probably has some of these boxes left. So if you're interested, go nab one and make sure that you come back and join me for my next Hedgehog Hollow collaboration. Um, and that is going to be how to put together a treat bag because, you know, you have to have goodies for the little ones when they leave, right? All right, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Please share this video. Give it a thumbs up if you feel so inclined. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Until next time, happy crafting.